Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to talk about um, procuring, uh, getting, and unboxing and testing the Coral USB accelerator. So uh, let's have a look to see what it is. I'm going to use this mind map to describe it. Uh, I'll tell you how I got it, what applications I'm working on. And um, one of the aims is to do a benchmark for speed comparison. So um, what it is, it's a USB accessory that brings machine learning inference to an existing system like a Raspberry Pi. In fact, that's where I'm going to put it. But you can put it on other Linux, Macs, or even Windows. But um, the uh, standard reference for development is a, a Linux system like a Raspberry Pi. And um, what it's supposed to do is uh, machine learning inference. So um, the version I've got uh, goes up to uh, four Tetra operations per second. And uh, these all relate to um, the machine learning inference. It also has a very good power performance. So we're talking about um, half a watt for each top. And um, how that might translate, if you have a model in mobile net, for example, you can get up to about um, 400 frames a second. So um, the systems that I'm interested in are TensorFlow. And um, the models that I've got are uh, already created as demonstrations. So how did I get it? Well, I first went on to uh, Seed and at 60 US dollars plus shipping, it just wasn't available. There was just no way they could get it. But I could get it on Amazon if I was prepared to spend $350, quite a markup. And it's one of these devices in the scarcity of um, chips at the moment, where um, it's in big demand uh, and there are few suppliers. But I did look around and it was possible to buy it on a German website buyer zero. And even though it was marked up, uh, I was able to buy it for um, 80 euros uh, plus uh, shipping. And it arrived just a couple of days ago. So uh, what am I going to use it for? It'll be used in STEM education to demonstrate machine learning and particularly uh, accelerating the process of inference. And uh, the sort of models I was um, going to create the rubbish sorting model, uh, detecting weeds, and uh, we'll be using it um, uh, on the demo to uh, identify Australian birds. And we'll be using a similar device on a M.2 format in our security system. So I've been using personal computers for some time. And um, I got my first personal computer back in 1978, and it had a clock speed of around about 100, uh, 1.8 megahertz. So just compare that with the Raspberry Pi 400, it's got a clock speed of 1.8 gigahertz. And uh, the uh, speed of the uh, Coral USB accelerator at four tops is quite amazing. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in reality. Okay, so um, we might look at some of the software I've already looked at. And this is my um, configuration. I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi in the form of a re-terminal. And it uses a, um, a CM4 version of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, at a slightly reduced clock rate compared to the uh, standard Raspberry Pi Model 4. So my objective is to uh, run some of the Coral demos, see if they work, and um, try it with and without the Coral USB on inference on a um, test, uh, on a tension flow light model. And I'm going to test it with Australian birds. So there's an excellent tutorial example that helps you get going 
uh, detect a parrot, and we'll have a look at that. But I wanted to see if it works with other birds. And um, the hardware I'm using is a re-terminal with the Coral USB accelerator. The uh, installation is very straightforward. Everything worked quite well. And I'm running it without um, going to maximum speed because um, there is a heat problem there. And uh, I'm not sure if our um, re-terminal will cope with the uh, two amps that are needed uh, to get that going. So we'll just run it at normal speed. And uh, after going through this and installing the Pi Coral library, I started commissioning and testing it. And um, the uh, process there was quite straightforward, set up um, a, um, a directory where I could put the examples and running it with the accelerator and without the accelerator, we'll see what those results are. So what, what I'll do is I'll just run it and you can uh, have a look. So I'm going to use uh, VCN. So here's my Raspberry Pi. And um, I'm going to um, run, see if I can we'll go into a terminal. And this bit, I'm going to run Python 3 on birds too. So I'll show you what the bird looks like. So we'll go to the test data and there's bird, there's uh, the image of some Australian birds. So we'll see if we can pick one of those. We'll um, have a look at the image viewer on that bird and we'll see if it can identify it. So we'll go back to the terminal. And we'll run that model. Now, at the moment, it's running the model with, um, without the um, Coral Accelerator. So it'll be interesting to see the comparison. So it's now running it. And it's come up with the results. So you can see that the inference over here is done it um, five times and um, started off with a slightly longer time of 126 milliseconds and ended up with 119.9 milliseconds. And it um, guessed within a probability of 58% um, that it was um, a yellow-billed magpie, which is one of our local birds. And that was correct. So um, that was a good result. Now we might actually go and see what happens when we um, uh, run that program, see if we can find, uh, we'll run the program now with, um, so it was birds, and here we're um, using the uh, Coral USB. So we'll just change that to birds two, and uh, just run that again. Ah, so now you can see an improvement. We've um, got the same result. It has identified the species correctly with um, about slightly lower uh, percentage certainty. So it thinks about 57% certainty that it's a, a yellow bill magpie. But you can see that the uh, imprint speed has been uh, increased dramatically. So that, that was a good result. Let's go back to our uh, mind map. And um, just overall, if, um, if you look at the results with the accelerator, getting quite good results. Uh, and here are some of the, that the magpie is the one that comes in standard. And here are some of the other birds. So it actually uh, was able to detect these, most of these quite well. The only one was the Australian data. Uh, one view of um, that bird, was successfully detected, but not with a, a very high um, inference percentage, only about 19%. Um, and all these images came from Wikipedia. And the other one, uh, it got wrong, but it did get the uh, part of the correct species, even though it didn't get the exact um, bird. Uh, another example is the... Um, Australian wood duck, 
And here it was able to uh, detect that uh, with a uh, certainty of um, 79% and uh, fairly good inference. And that inference um, speed would um, uh, be increased um, by a factor of about um, 10 or more uh, if I wasn't using the uh, Coral USB. Okay, so uh, that was interesting. Uh, so um, that was a successful series of commissioning tests. Okay, so if you're interested, um, there are some of the results, some of the references, and uh, these are um, available on the Coral website, or you can go to, um, you, and you'll have to discover yourself where you can buy the Coral USB accelerator from on the web. Okay, so that's it for, for the time being. Catch up with you later.